Okay, so this is just a quick video. Um, about two or three weeks ago, I bought this uh, HyperX Quadcast mic. Uh, this this applies to any microphone at all you are being used in OBS Studio. But basically what I had was um, kind of a very minor echo. It just didn't sound quite as good as it could. It might even not be described as an echo. You could have described it as a robotic voice. Uh, I tried everything. I put filters on. I tried... Uh, literally i spent about a week i even returned the microphone got a new microphone and then that did exactly the same thing and eventually i figured out what it was and there was nothing on the internet about it um i think part of the information came from chat gpt in the end um but anyway it was this if you've got an echo or a robotic voice in obs studio it may be this so if you have a look um on in the audio mixer i had Mike, uh, Mike Orks there, and um, I think that's in there. Autom I think that's in there already. But I didn't when I went to record. It didn't record. Um, it didn't record the audio to the stream or to the recording that I was doing. So I went to plus at the bottom here under sources. Went to plus and audio output capture. Now, what I did was just click OK here. Don't just click OK here. I clicked OK and it put, I then had Mike Orcs and audio output capture as two separate bars in audio mixer. Why I didn't notice that this was a problem. I just thought it was kind of how it was meant to work. So I had Mike Orcs and audio output capture down here in audio mixer. It turned out that was what the problem was. You can't have both of them running side by side, otherwise it gives you a bit of an echo effect. What you actually need to do, if you've already got this echo effect, delete your audio, uh, um, uh, click here for on your audio output capture. I don't need to do this for you. If you click there and go to bin, you can get, don't do it to your video output capture. You can get rid of your the audio output capture you put in. Delete that. Then when you go, then go back in, go to audio output capture. When you click audio output capture, go to add existing. And mine doesn't have it here because I've already done it. But down here, you will have mic aux. Click mic aux. And then that will, that will make mean you will, it will just say mic aux down in audio mixer. That will be now bound with uh, audio output capture. It will now record your audio. You won't have an echo and uh, you'll be able to record your audio on stream and everything should work properly. This may not be the solution for you, but I had to make a video on it because I couldn't find the solution to this anywhere and it took me a week to work it out. So hopefully that is for you. Go uh, Just recap there. You need to go de delete your um, audio output capture and then reinstate it. Audio output capture add existing and then in here will be mic aux don't do desktop audio do microphone auxiliary and then your mic should work without any echo i was elated when i found this out so uh, i hope it's the same for you thank you